Hello, Carl here for our second tutorial installment. Today we're going to discuss how LS7 begins and sets up a virtual property to design. Hopefully after today you can get started on your own. You can start by opening Virtual Property Architect to a new virtual property and adding a virtual property name, description, and address. This will get you started. I'm going to begin by launching a property that I prepared for today's tutorial. As you can see, I've logged into Visionscape.com selected my properties tab and I have a new virtual property for today's segment I have no screenshots because I have not yet to build anything I uploaded a photo though because it's always important to have an idea or plan of what you're going to build whether it be a house you've seen before or one you had in mind from this picture you can see a front facade I can understand some of my roof lines and peaks I'm going to go ahead and launch this property by clicking OK Okay, so as you can see, I selected the property and opened Construction 1 Hampton House Series. Once you name your virtual property, add a description, this will be where you can see your name over here. You can put an address in and a zip code. You're going to need to add some of this information to create a virtual pro an online property. Okay, you're Layers and your plan and perspective views are going to be very important when, when creating your design. As seen here, I have a layer called 1. I'm going to right click and show layer just to show you the house we're going to strive to build today. Here is the house as a finished product. Now you can easily hide your layer by right clicking in hide layer. Okay, let's begin today by turning on our grid and our snap 2 tool. You're also going to want to create a couple new layers by right clicking on a layer and add new layer. Let's make one called plan because when we upload our plan, we want the plan to be on that layer so we can hide and show whenever we want. Let's right click one more time and add a house layer. When we begin to build our house from tracing our plan, this is where we're going to want to make sure it is on this layer. Okay. Now we have our two new layers. Make sure the plan layer is highlighted where we're now going to upload a plan. Up in your ribbon tabs, go to plan details. You're going to make sure you're in perspective uh, plan view. Click on photo. I have a plan saved on my desktop here called Hampton House Plan. And you're going to want to open that plan. Left click, drag your mouse to the right and left click one more time and as you can see my plan has appeared here and it's on my plan layer so I can hide plan and show plan make sure the plan is highlighted The first thing you want to do is uh, on your proper your image detail tab you're going to want to use your transparency and scroll it a little bit to the right here just so you can start to see the grid behind the plan just will give you an idea of where you are on your grid now with the plan selected again, you're going to want to scale your plan so your design comes out somewhat to a scale. You can use your dimension tool here. Start by clicking on a facade of the house that you know is a specific feet, which I know this is about 20 feet, so it's 11 now, as you can see. So you can hit escape to um, get out of the dimension tool. And I'm going to click on my plan one more time. In my top right here, I'm going to make it larger just a bit because now that'll be more about 20 feet make sure that's in the middle of your grid okay now that we've uploaded a plan that's on the correct layer and scale we can begin to create our house you're going to want to make sure we highlight our house layer so everything we build from this point is on our house now let's go back into perspective view real quick just to demonstrate that the plan is not here because this is only where we can see the 3D or perspective view. The plan is only going to be on your plan view so you can trace. Okay, let's start by once again selecting our house layer and our ribbon tabs we can select building house. Okay, let's zoom in to our first facade or building. You're going to want to connect four points by left clicking one, two, three and four here and right click to create that house now if we go over to perspective view you can see that we've created our first facade here you can click the zoom to tool to zoom in and see what we've done okay let's quickly go back into plan 
and start one more house. One. Now notice that there's feet along my red line here. This is so you can create the, the perfect rectangular square that you're looking for. Now also, because our Snap 2 tool is on, you can see you can move up and down. If you hold the space bar down, this will kind of guide you to a straight line so you know that you're creating that 90 degree angle here. Left click, let's go back up and make sure that we're at 38 feet again by 30. And right click. All right, let's go back into perspective. All right, we have our second facade. Now you can notice that I have two different buildings here. That's because from the picture I, I saw, you're going to want to create a building for each roof line or, or peak and then piece them together here. Notice that if I move this building to the left using my arrow keys, it detaches from this other building. Let's go back to the right to reattach that. This is so you can use your dimensions and you can elevate. Select the wall height for different peaks and lines and your roof pitch up and down of each peak and facade. Let's go back into plan view one more time. Let's, let's create our garage house one more time. Let's go into 17 by 29 by 17 by 29. Right click. OK, we have our third piece here. Now, let's. Um, you can press escape to deselect anything at any time. Let's orbit or pan over to the right using our arrow keys. OK. Now, I know from the pictures that I saw that I want this roof line to be a little bit uh, uh, shorter than our main house. Let's make our main house about wall height 20 feet or so. OK. Let's make our room here, let's say, 15 feet. And this guy, our garage, 15 feet. All right. Now, I know I'm going to want to change my my peaks here. So select this room, double click. And if you, your cursor hovers around your roof line, it's plus or minus sign. You want to click that once and see how your roof line changes. You can right click on the mouse, orbit to the back, and change that as well. Now, I know that my roof pitch here on my main home is going to be really, really steep. So I'm going to go up to about eh, 35 here, just to make that really exaggerated. Now next I'm going to click on my garage, click my Z key to zoom to, and I'm going to want to double click on this and start by changing my other roof line. Now notice you can't really grab this other side over here, so you're going to escape, select tool, use your arrow keys, move, move your building over a little bit. Now you can see the back of your uh, building here. Double click one more time. Hover that cursor over. There you go. Now you can select it again. Use the cursor back over and make sure that you connect that building back in here so it's all is one building. Okay, let's deselect and pan over to the right and see what we've accomplished so far. Now you can see that uh, my materials are all the same. You can easily click on a building, edit your wall material, add corner trim. You can add different roof materials as easy as clicking on the tab right here. Selecting anything you want, add and adding to scene. Let's cancel. Okay, let's review a couple more tips to clean up the house a bit. As you can see here, our garage peak doesn't quite connect to our main house here. You can solve this problem by double clicking on your garage and editing it by selecting this left dot, holding down control, selecting the back dot, and simply left clicking, dragging it back into our main house here. As you can see, our roof line now goes into our house. Let's pan over here. And we're going to also remember, to each roof line is a separate building to create. So we want to add another peak here in the front of our home, I know from our pictures. So let's select this room over here, Control C and Control V, copy and paste. And as you can see, now we have another whole building here. Let's push that back into our main fa uh, facade here. And let's adjust our wall height to about 20, as this is what this main house is 20 feet tall. All right, now we've created another peak on our home, as simple as that. 
Okay, another good feature is our group tool. We can do this by our left toolbar over here. But first, let's go to our ribbons, edit, and select all. Notice that I've selected all the buildings and facades that I've created thus far. On our left toolbar, the group selected objects, click once, and now you can see that I've grouped all of my tools. This is interesting for adding a foundation, which we will do shortly in our next couple tutorials. Notice you can adjust the elevation all at once here, and the scale. Really great way. And you can also deselect or ungroup by clicking the ungroup on your left toolbar. All right, well, let's end today's tutorial with a screenshot. Let's go into main on our ribbon tab, create screenshot, make sure upload to virtual property online is selected so you can share and show people your progress. And you want to go to next, screenshot name, let's call this, uh, let's call this screenshot progress one. You can add description if you like. Create screenshot. All right, success. Okay, now let's go check that out on visionscape.com. Let's refresh this here. And what do you know, screenshot. Here we go. Well, there's a progress of your house so far and everything you've learned today. Please join us next time as we add a foundation, windows, doors, and all of the essentials for your home. Thanks. Bye.